The state government says it hopes to have a final decision with the release of the budget. Now, if you thought power prices was an issue to raise hackles, how about shutting a school? Last year, the Education Department drew up a list of 55 that could be closed. The Education Minister, John Paul Langbrook, has narrowed the hit list to nine. It's a move aimed at saving the state money, but supporters of the schools say that comes at too high a cost. They say small schools are special and are worth fighting for. Jesse Dorset reports. I have made his friends compared to my other school. I can walk around school now and um, be smiling. People come up to me and say, hey Jordan, how are you? And hug me and yeah, it's really good. For Year 11 student Jordan Reid, Everton Park State High School is a welcoming environment. His family says his results speak for themselves. At his last high school, they told me it would be a waste of paper even printing the report card because he wasn't going to be assessed in anything. Uh, his first six months, at the end of the first semester that he was here, his grades had come up to C's in every subject except one and that was a D and that was an improvement on his year eight mark. Jordan Reid has Asperger's. He says he felt invisible at his old school. You just walk around and you just get ignored because that's what, that's what the other kids do. Um, they just like see you as just a blank face pretty much unless you're deep in their group. They just don't really see you. Since moving to Everton Park, he's come off medication, made plenty of friends and is passing his subjects. The school chaplain says it's not a surprising result because part of the school's mission is to include all students. This school is a place which, which provides a community for them. There's a sense of belonging, a sense of worth, that it, it put thing, puts things in place for them. But the future is bleak for the school in northern Brisbane. It's one of nine that could be shut down at the end of the year. The school has 230 students enrolled and operates at a fifth of its capacity. The Education Minister says it's not sustainable. It's all about whether enrolments are there, whether the subject offerings are there, whether we've got the utilisation rate in those schools or whether even the students in those areas are coming from the local catchment. But to those involved, the government is ignoring the real worth of Everton Park High. Kerry Reid says its smaller size was an attraction. We do have two other high schools that we're closer to, but just too big, just much too big. A local business group says the decision is short-sighted and that the school is in a growing area. Well, it's becoming a hot area. Um, with all of the redesign of the tunnels and the traffic situation, we've got signs around Brisbane basically saying, you know, Everton Park this way. So I think it is one of those suburbs that's going to receive a lot more attention. Lot Cherie Lenton says the community values Everton Park High and is proud of its students. They've taken them on work experience. We know some of the members have also taken them for traineeships. And uh, the feedback on that has been phenomenal. The students and the quality of their attitude and their work ethic has been second to none. The PNC fears the state wants to cash in on the 25-acre block of land the school sits on. So it would be easy for them just to bulldoze it all straight through and that's, that's our biggest concern. As a community, that's our biggest concern. But the Minister says that's not the case. We haven't said or even considered what we might do with the land should we close the schools. Meetings have already been held at three schools as part of a mandatory consultation process. The state government has named eight more schools facing closure because they're not considered viable. But the teachers' union says while it understands some school closures may be necessary, the process hasn't been handled well, with many parents and staff hearing about their schools on the evening news. In some ways, people feel like they're guinea pigs. Uh, people feel like this is a, uh, a trial run for what might happen in other communities right across Queensland, and that's causing huge angst and uncertainty. Adding to the confusion is a plan by the Education Department to sell about 90 properties across the state, including vacant blocks of land. Some of those were earmarked for potential new schools. Just yesterday, a block at Calliope, south of Gladstone in central Queensland, was passed in an auction at $1 million. 
And earlier this week, the Education Minister announced 10 new schools will be built in South East Queensland by 2016 under a public-private partnership. But John Paul Langbrook says that's got nothing to do with potential school closures and property sales. I think it's prudent and the sign of a good government for us to be looking at our asset portfolio, which is worth $18 billion, and planning to put schools in areas where we have high growth. Schools facing the axe say they'll keep fighting. Everton Park High parents hope the state puts more than a dollar value on their school. This isn't just about one child, this is about the 230 children that are already in this school and it's about the children that are to come to this school.